Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be finishing up a bunch of NPC side quests along with killing Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, all I did was turn in the rest of my bell bearings that we've collected to the Twin Maiden Husks. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to our map. And the first thing we're going to do is go over to Stormvale Castle. We're going to fast travel to the Godric the Grafted Grace. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is finishing up Nefeli Lu's side quest. To be able to do this, we have to run through the throne room here. And run out to the Lyurnia of the Lake's Grace. Okay, now that we've made it over to this grace, the way that we have to progress this quest is we have to exit the game, come back in, and then we have to fast travel over to Godric the Grafted Grace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll see everybody back over by the Godric the Grafted Grace in just a second. All right, we have progressed Nefeli Lu's quest line. Let's go ahead and go into the throne room and talk to a couple of NPCs. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. So she gives us the ancient dragon smithing stone. Now we'll be able to max out a regular weapon, not a special boss weapon or anything like that, but one of our regular weapons. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Ah. Nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. And then lastly, we're going to talk to this guy. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom! was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust. 
so I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. So you can go ahead and buy a second ancient dragon smithing stone just in case you might have a second weapon you want to max out to plus 25. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to Jarberg. We're going to talk to the Jar NPC. Ah, oh, hello again. Do you know what a poacher is, cuz? They hunt us, smash us, and then take us away. This village is kept secret, so I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. Now let's go ahead and go over to the Church of Vows. We're going to talk to the turtle boy, give him our prayer book. Greeting. Oh, very well. Heresy is not all thing. Now we're going to go all the way over here to the West Capitol Rampart. We're going to be heading over to Gold Mask and Brother Corrin to let them know that Radagon is America. Just a uh, warning to everybody. There is going to be a ton of fast traveling. A ton of it. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves. Go ahead and kill this gladiator, get him out of the way. And then we'll crouch and kill this gladiator as well. going to talk to Gold Mask first. Go ahead and tell him that Radagon is America. We're going to get the Golden Order Totality. What on earth did you do to the Master? Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. So I'd like to pass this on to you instead. A glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order, documented by yours truly. To think that Radigan was Marika herself, or at least such is all I can interpret from the rhythm and calculus of his finger. How would such a thing even have been possible, I wonder? Sadly, I cannot comprehend it myself. Do you have a fuller understanding of the matter? Oh. Well, either way, I can continue my documentation. In truth, it matters very little whether I understand the Master's thoughts or not. I am merely his scribe. It is my sole and unwavering purpose. Now we're going to go north over to the Windmill Heights. We're going to be collecting one of the items from getting the painting. First, we want to take out these 
tags over here. Right here. We can go ahead and get ourselves the spell Fire's Deadly Sin. And then we're going to zoom out and come over to the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. But before we do, we want to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. And then our second marker is going to be right there. Let's go ahead and go over to this Grace. So over here, when we get closer to the bridge, one of the big skeleton guys is going to spawn in. You can kill him if you want to. I'm not going to bother with him. Like I said in the last video, you can get a few runes for killing him. Actually, quite a few runes if you put on the golden scarab. So it might be worth it for you. We're going to hop down right here. Get ourselves a pretty useless item, the Great Hood. And then we're going to head southeast. And then we can see Gold Mask and Brother Corn again. Let's go ahead and talk to Brother Corn. Ah, uh, nice to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility, but somehow I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> we'll go ahead and give him the Tonic of Forgetfulness. What is this? It will make me forget, you say, so that I can push aside these frightful thoughts. <laughs> Would that I could. Would that I could. Now we're going to zoom out and we're going to come all the way over to the Volcano Manor. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to go ahead and talk to Patches and Bernal. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> now we could have done that quest a long time ago for patches. I just felt it would be a little easier to do it now than earlier it's just as my noble brother says i'm a complete fool i can't believe i thought i could become a champion perhaps i am a fool after all no it's worse than that as things stand i've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house what an easy mark i must have been Ah, 
I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours by right. We get Galmer's Fury from him. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Now let's go talk to Lady Tanith. I see that you stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please, take it. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our Lord? Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit. Treading the path of champions. Yes. As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber. Farewell, then. May your visit be fruitful. We're going to go into the boss room, but we're not going to fight Rykar just yet. We're going to grab this weapon right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to the Magma Worm Grace. And we are going to invade the world of Great Horned Targeth. Should be a pretty easy fight for you by now. So for killing Targeth, we get his bull goat armor set. Now we're going to go back to the volcano manor. Go talk to Patches. Hello again. Welcome to Patches Emporium. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. Cheers for that. Now let's rest at the grace, and then we're going to go right back to Patches. Hello again. Welcome to Patches Emporium. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. So we get the Magma Whip candlestick from him. Try to find. Pretty cool weapon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the round table hold and upgrade the Serpent Hunter weapon. And then we're going to go right back to the audience pathway. So I'm going to meet everybody over at the audience pathway. I'll see everybody in just a moment. All right. Now that we're back over here where the Rykard boss fight is and I have leveled up the weapon, let's go ahead and buff ourselves. Summon in our mimic tier. Heal ourselves.
and then start the boss fight. This is a gimmick fight. We're going to be using a charge to R2 for the majority of the fight. This boss fight is really easy. some charged heavy attacks. So for killing Rykard, we get his Great Rune, along with his Remembrance. If we come right here, we can get the Eye Surcoat. Let's go ahead and light this Grace. And then what we're going to do is not fast travel, not yet. We're going to put on our Bloodhound's Fang. Then we're going to put on our Shield. Union seal and then our great bow. Now let's go ahead and fast travel back over to the volcano manor. You, it's true then. You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our Lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal, and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path, and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. Let's go talk to Patches. Now you've gone and killed Rykard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Cripes. 
You make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a Tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am. Untethered, once again. Goodbye, my friend. We're gonna come over here, get the my thanks emote, and then we're gonna talk to Bernal. So, you killed Rikard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the volcano manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Erd Tree. O oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will. And you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. Now we're going to come over to the Shaded Castle and we'll go over to the Castilian's Hall. Talk to Patches again. Uh, oh, you, you, you again. A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, I, I had a bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then. Then I can rest easy, my friend. Now we're heading back over here to Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy's Grace. Let's go ahead and talk to Lady Tanith. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved Lord. Oh, you... Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Now we're going to go ahead and kill her. And we're going to get invaded by her knight. Ah, uh, my lord, Rikard.
So for killing Tanith's Knight, we get the aspect of the Crucible Breath. And then if we come over here, we get her attire. Which that Crucible Knight was kicking my ass there for a minute. Not gonna lie. Now what we want to do is come all the way down here to the Divine Tower of West Altus. We're going to go up top to get Rykard's Great Rune. Go ahead and light that grace and then come to the top here. Grab the great room. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel back over to Jarberg. I'm going to talk to the Jar NPC again. Oh, hello again, Cuz. Have you heard? A new potentate's come to the village. I think he said his name was... Tialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands... as smooth as silk. I don't know. I'm a little... disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor, he says he isn't a warrior. And since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. But I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Let's go over to Dialos, talk to him. Well, aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the Volcano Manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? <laughs> well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. So what we're going to do is exhaust his dialogue. He's just going to repeat himself. So I'm going to skip all me? through it. Of you pity me. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fast travel over to the study hall entrance and then fast travel back over to Jarberg and then exit out of the game and come back in because I have no clue what is with FromSoft and, uh, making quests difficult to progress but that's what it is so i'll see everybody in just a minute after i do all of that okay everybody we are back and i actually had to do even more than what i did i had to exit out of the game fast travel over to the study hall entrance fast travel back and then fast travel over to the study hall entrance and then fast travel back. I don't know if it's just being glitchy or what, but yeah. Now we can see that all these pots are broken. Oh, 
Cuz, I'm glad you came. But we're fine now. Dialos fought the poacher, though quite a lot of us got broken. <laughs> I won't cry, though. I'm a warrior, Jar. A warrior. Let's go talk to Dialos. Ah, you are uh, the jars. Are they all right? <coughs> Did I defend them? Then all is well. This fool proved his worth in the end. Now let's go rest at the grace. It's going to progress the quest. Talk to the jar again. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I'm going to be. One who protects everybody. Poor Dialos. He did not get a happy ending. Which, let's be honest. A lot of people don't have a happy ending or, well, NPCs in any FromSoft game. Thanks for coming back, cuz. I've been thinking. It's time for me to set out on a journey. As a warrior, Jar. Upon the path of champions. We're gonna come over here to where... Dialos was when he died and we're gonna pick up his super anime helmet along with the Hauslow's pedal whip and a Newman rune okay now we're gonna go south all the way down to Limgrave and we're gonna go over to the Merc Water Cave I have to say, I think 95% of this episode has been fast traveling. We're going to go into this boss room. Patches is going to try to kill us again. Just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, you scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin, all of it. Mm. Wait, don't tell me. Is that you? Oh, Christ. Please, wait. I surrender. I surrender. I swear. see we're on the same page I'd never cross you not even close so for all that we get patches crouch ah it's been ages since I've seen you I didn't even realize it was you took you for a demi-human or some such uh, you know how it is just an innocent mistake water under the bridge eh back to business as usual Hell's bells. This bandit business is hardly what it's cracked up to be. Especially if we keep running into the likes of you. Hmm. Maybe I'll set up another shop with the lads. Hmm. Maybe I'll set up another... Okay, he's got nothing else to say. Now, you can come back to Murkwater Cave and he's going to be a merchant again. But he's not going to have anything new. So it's up to you on if you want to do that. 
for now, what we're going to do is fast travel back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. So for everybody that's wanting a really good sword that's going to heal you, right here, the Blasphemous Blade, for every hit you do on an enemy, it's going to heal you. We can also get Rykard's Rancor. In my opinion, this spell sucks. I do not like it. You can try it out if you want. I didn't like this spell. Feel free to do what you want with it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out and we're going to go back up here to the mountaintops of the giants and we're going to go over to the giants grave post. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and put ourselves a marker down and then we're going to head west past this troll really careful we have a lot of dangerous stuff over here we have trolls we have big dogs and then we also have the big hand creatures as well just head west right through here I'm gonna hop off hop off again just keep hopping down don't stop there's a bunch of Big ol' enemies trying to kill us. Pick up some invigorating white cured meat. And then over here, we're gonna have a hand hiding and another hand out to ambush us here. Just be ready for that. And then we're gonna come right over here. Grab ourselves a somber smithing stone seven. Keep dodging. And then head west. Gonna have another hand. Jump across. And we have made it to our destination. Let's go down the elevator. We're going to light this grace. And activate this summoning pool. And then we're going to come back over here. And we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.